The Symposium Group presents the Symposium Experience. This conference provides startup, growth, and networking strategies for the direct sales executive. Since I was a child, I've always been a dreamer. That's the name of my company, Dream Builders. I love to dream. In fact, I tell my kids, dream big because little dreams have no magic. That's just something that I've always tried to instill to them. I talk about dreams all the time. I love them. And I love what you're doing. You all have your dream, something inside of you that you're trying to get out to your field. And someone out there got them excited about your business. We all know what happens, right? They get excited, and then they go home and they tell their spouse what they just did, and then reality hits. Did I make, what was I thinking? Did I make the right choice? How much did I pay? Your dream is to keep that dream alive, right? And you've got to do it in a myriad of ways. You've got conference calls, you've got webinars, you've got your online presence. You also have this thing we call the sales kit. I'm going to call it a kit. You can call it all kinds of things you want. That kit had better be great. Because when, they, when that kid arrives, someone's looking at him, if they're married, especially. You know what I'm saying? They're looking at him going, let's see what you did. Let's see if this really is what you say it is. And so it's got to have a really good presence when it arrives, doesn't it? Not only does that have content, but it better look nice. Because someone over there is looking at them going, did you really think we could do this? When that kid arrives, and when you bring someone into your business, you want them to do Three things. They want them to feel something, know something, and do something, right? Feel, know, do. It's a great question that you need to ask yourselves. What do we want our new team members to feel? What do you want them to know? What's important about you? What makes you unique and different and special above any other opportunity that they could have a chance at becoming a part of? Because there are thousands, aren't there? There's a big competition. And what do you want them to do? Those are three critical questions. And you could have several answers below each one. It's not just one. But it's a great question for you to go back to your team and say, guys, what do we want them to feel when they come to our events? What do we want them to feel when they think about our product or know about our company's vision and our mission and our cause? And what do we want them to do? And the day they get their an enrollment kit, or the day they sign that application, or the day they leave the conference, what are they supposed to do? Just feel good? Anybody can feel good for two days, right? A tree is most accurately measured when it's down, right? And that's what's going to happen on a Monday or a Tuesday when they get back in town and meet those same friends and drive that same way to work, which they'll probably do. They're going to start having those same old feelings. So you've got to put a new do into their life, a new do. What do you want them to do? Re-excite them. Encourage them now to start sharing the products and the opportunity because that is what excited them, really. Someone got inside their mind and their heart and started making them dream again and think again and believe again that they could do something wonderful. So encourage them to get out there and start talking to people, practicing, rehearsing, going with their sponsor or their upline, and then present a system. Don't make it complicated. Make it simple. You do this this and this, and then you do it again. The right kit will help them build a belief in these four things, and I hope there are four things on this thing. Number one, belief in the company. That I found the mothership. This company has got it going on. They know what they're doing. They're sharp, they're professional, they're visionaries, they're honest, they have integrity. They're going to be here for the long term. You want them to feel that, have that belief, belief in the products. Whether you believe this or not, if they don't find value in your product, they won't sell it. If they don't think it's worth what you're saying and you're, and you're telling them to go sell it for, they won't sell it. Belief in the opportunity. If I do this, this, and this enough times, I will be making this much. Do what? You want them to understand that perfectly clear. But here's one thing that most companies forget. Self. Belief in themselves. And so here's my message, my last message for you guys. They are putting their dreams and their hopes in you. If you can't handle it, don't do it. 
But if you can handle it, if you can make a difference and say, I'm, I'm the right guy, gal for this job, go for it. Give them every opportunity to win. And you can put that in that kit. So now you understand why I said think inside the box, right? Instead of think outside the box, think inside of it. Do everything you can to make that as a valuable piece as you can, as it represents you as a company. And the other things you can do once that kid arrives to make sure that they will have success. To learn more about the presentation you have just seen and about our upcoming events, please visit thesymposiumgroup.com.